happy Hunmas. Good morning, my little angels. Today I overslept a tiny bit. I've got so much work to do and I'm like, why would you oversleep, Imogen? Hugo woke me up to say goodbye to me at like seven o'clock in the morning. And then obviously I was awake for a little bit and then I went back to sleep for a bit, but I'm awake now. I'm going back to London today and I've got to say goodbye to my family. So I say goodbye to everyone but my mum because my mum's at work. So she's gonna come back and then she's gonna take me to the station and then I'm gonna go to London because I've got an exciting dinner with Beauty Bay tonight. I'm so excited. So you get to come with me on that. That's really exciting. And I'm staying in a hotel in London. Ooh, you know. It's not really that exciting, but I like staying in hotels because I love having a shower and like getting out of the shower and just walking around. Like, I don't even know why i don't even know why and knowing like you can get in clean bed linen and it's all prepared for you i just love it okay well i'm gonna get ready for london now so i love you i'm just uploading my video but also hi if you're new to my channel my name is imogen hello honeys welcome back to my youtube channel if you're just returning then yay this is really exciting please hit the subscribe button because you're in for a chance to win my giveaway i'm gonna insert a clip now of what you can win All you need to do to be in a chance of my giveaway is subscribe to my YouTube channel, subscribe to my vlog channel, turn the bell notifications on. Look at Jasper. Yes, you having fun there? Yes, yes. That's my bodysuit, thank you. <laughs> also you need to be following me on all of my social media, my Snapchat, my Instagram, my Twitter. If you don't have that, then that's fine. And then just comment in my comment section below. I love you. I'm with my mom and I'm gonna have to say goodbye to her now. <laughs> I'm goodbye. really sad. I hate leaving you. you're saying hi and then you're saying bye. I know, I was saying hi to you. Mommy's like, been at work. work. Why is yes, your mum? You look beautiful. Tired. No, you don't really? look tired. Oh, yeah, your skin looks lovely. Thank you. Your skin, my mummy's skin. Uh, I, I don't want to say goodbye to my mum. I don't want to go to London. But I'm coming back with on Wednesday with Hugo. Be, I'm coming back on Wednesday to pick up Hugo, and then I'll be back after Christmas, won't I? Mean? Yeah, we're gonna I look like a big blue together. marshmallow. I look like a green one yesterday. So oh, <laughs> we've swapped. Dear. We've swapped roles. Oh my god! I knew it'd be one of these days. We've got a change now, so I've had to get off that train. It's terminating, and I have to change the face and stuff. But no one ever told me this. And then she just said it on the train, and now we've got a change. So I'm like, no. Okay, so I just got to London, but. I can't wait to tell you about my day. Like, when I get to the hotel, I'm gonna go to the hotel now and check in, but you, you're not gonna believe it. Like, what's happened today, you will not believe it. It's actually, I, I can't, I'm just gonna laugh, because it's just one of those days. Huns, listen, the lighting in here is abysmal. It's abysmal. What can I do? Oh, it's better here. Was it better here? It was better facing there. There we go. I want to put you on something. Puns, I've just got to the hotel, but you have to listen to this story. You're gonna have to listen. Like, I can't even explain it to you. Let me put you down a bit so you're not looking up my nose. <laughs> Cause it's a little bit, I don't know at the moment, you know, and it's a little bit coldy. Anyway, I've got to tell you this story. My day, you know one of those days where you're like, I'm gonna have to laugh. I'm gonna have to laugh, like I have to laugh. So basically, all right, where do I start? My mum picks me up, love her so much. She was like, why don't we go to Starbucks before you get on the train? So I was like, yeah, amazing. Um, she drove around and then I went to Starbucks. I went into the Starbucks. <laughs> I went into the Starbucks I ordered for my mum and my mum wanted decaf one shot, caramel latte with skinny milk and two pumps of caramel. But the thing is, you're allowed to have whatever you want at Starbucks, that's the whole isn't that the whole sort of, you know, oh, we love Starbucks because you can make your own drink kind of thing. Like, I thought that was the whole appeal of it. You know, having your own drink at Starbucks, getting your name on the drink. I don't know. Anyway, so then the woman was like, are you sure? And I was like, yeah. And then I said, can I have a peach green tea, ice lemonade, less tea, less ice and some strawberry syrup? And she was like, have you had this before? And I was like, yeah. She was like, but the strawberry syrup is really thick. I was like, yeah, I know. I can just swirl it around. Don't worry. She made the drinks and I was in a bit of a rush. I was a bit like, come on, hun. Like, I'm in a little bit of a rush. She was like, I've just got to run upstairs to get the strawberry syrup. I was like, I'm gonna be late for my train. Don't worry about it, Angel, love you. So then when she gave me my order, she read it out and she was like, peach, green tea, ice. I was like, yeah, yeah, that's for me. She knew it was for me because she'd served me, but she kept reading it out. Then she was like, gingerbread, one shot. I was like, yeah, yeah, they're both for me. She was like, <laughs> there was about four people there at Starbucks and three of them weren't working. I think they'd popped in to see her or something, but they're wearing their uniform or they'd been finishing, I don't know. And they were like, God, that's gonna be sweet. Are you sure? I was like, and they laughed when they gave me the order and I was like, listen babes, I'm not sure you can really do that. Like if I, if I choose something Angel, I'm pretty sure I'm allowed to choose whatever drink I want. Do you know what I mean? Make your judgments when I'm gone. Don't judge me now. Do you know what I mean? Anyway, get in the car, go to the station, make the train, whoop de whoop. Train's delayed, sitting on the train, mum calls me, still sitting on the train, hasn't left. I was like, gonna be late for London, gonna be late for the beauty babes dinner. Like I was getting nervous because I hate being late. It's like my biggest, oh, I hate being late. Anyway. 
So then, <laughs> I have a massive suitcase, a massive suitcase that it doesn't actually fit into the racks. It's like an extra large one. So it's not a large, obviously, I just said it's an extra large. So then I left it kind of in the gap of the hallway. So you can still get through, but obviously the lady with the trolley couldn't get through. So she went, whose suitcase is this? And I was like, oh, that's mine. Sorry. And she was like, move it, because I can't get through. Pretty sure, babe, you missed please. Can you move it? I'm pretty sure you didn't say please. She definitely didn't say please. This was in front of everyone. I was mortified. This was in front of the whole train, right? So I was like, yeah, okay. So then she's trying to push past me while I'm moving it. So I went, babe, just wait. And I went, please. I went, babe, can you just wait for a second, please? I said please. So then she like moved around me. And then I went, she went, well, what am I meant to do? Get around you. I said, just wait a second. I'm moving. It's a really heavy suitcase. Please, can you just wait? She went, I don't need to wait for you. So I pushed past, pushed the suitcase and me in. So then I moved it around. I went, you could have been nice about it. She went, thank you. I was like, people are trying to test me. Anyway, so when she told me to get up to go get the suitcase, I basically had my tickets on the, you know, the table that flips down. So to get out of the two-seater, I put the table up so I could get out. Didn't remember. So then, ha, 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 there's an announcement. Please change, all change. And I'm like, pretty sure I'm going to London. I don't know why I'm changing. Then they're like, this train is being, whatever, discontinued or something here. Can't think of the words because I'm too busy trying to get this story up. So then I'm like, oh, okay, I'm getting off. So then I had to get off a bathing stoke and I was like, what's going on? They're like, there's a signal failure. So you need to get off and get the next train. I was like, oh, I could have got the next train. I should have just stayed my mum longer because I was a and ahhing whether to get the 221 or the 247. Should have got the 247 because I was on it anyway. So then I'm waiting at the platform. It's pouring down with rain. I'm trying to render this lap. I'm trying to render my video. I'm literally like, oh, wait, let me check if it's rendering now. Stay with me, angels. Stay with me. I'm all over the place today. But I've got to keep rendering it and getting it out. Oh, yeah, 87%. Then I can upload my hummus because I don't want to be late. Anyway, so then... Oh, gosh. So then we get off at Basin Soak. It's pouring down with rain. I've got this suitcase, this massive suitcase, my um, handbag, and then my laptop in my arms because I'm waiting for it to kind of load. And then my, my, my laptop's going to die, so I'm like, oh, no, what am I going to do? I need to get this video up by 7. So then I was like, right, brilliant. There's no charge on this train. So then we waited for the next one, got on the next train. And then to my, to my absolute dismay. Is that right? Dismay? Left the train tickets on the other train. From where I'd flipped up the train tickets, I forgot to then flip it down and take my train tickets. Left them on the other train. Left them. I'm on the train to Waterloo and it's like, last stop, Waterloo. All change, please, all change. I'm like, I'm going to have to get off. What am I going to do? So then I'm like, right, I've got the confirmation on my phone, but it doesn't prove that I picked it up. But the only one saving grace I think I had was... The thing is, if I didn't pick it up, I could never use it again. Like, if it was a if it was a super off-peak return, and I could return using it and whatever, it was literally a single from Salisbury for that exact time, nothing else. So, if they said to me, you didn't pick it up, you want to use this ticket again, I'd be like, hun, there's nothing I can do because I can't use it again. Do you know what I mean? So, I'm walking off, and I'm a bit nervous because I'm like, oh, no, I know. So, I went up to this guy, I was like, excuse me, please, can you help me? And he was like, what? I was umming and ahhing between to go whether this man or this man, I went to the wrong one. Obviously, because it's just one of those days. So then I said to him, I'm really sorry, but I left the train. I was on the 221 from Salisbury. We had to get off at Basingstoke because the train was, uh, it stopped. And then I had to change to get onto the London train. And I'd left my train tickets. I said, I remember the carriage. I mean, if someone found them, they would have found them because they would have gone on the table and found them. Um, I said, I haven't picked it up, but I do have my payment confirmation. And also I can go on the app and prove to you that I picked it up. He went, you haven't picked it up. You haven't picked it up. I said, wait, I'm sorry, I'm just a tiny bit confused. How can you tell from that email that I haven't picked it up? And he was like, well, if you're showing me confirmation, I know you haven't picked it up. I said, I swear on my life, I was with my mum. Call my mum. But the thing is, they could have called my mum. My mum could have lied. So I understand. I understand. But I was like, I swear on my life, like, as if they're going to believe me because of that. I was like, I promise you I won't be standing here lying. I can't reuse this ticket. So even if I hadn't picked it up, picked it up, I can't refund it and I can't reuse it because I have picked it up. And your train, your train system will tell me that. Like, there's no way I can refund it on the app because I've already picked it up. So then he's like, wait there. So he went to call his manager. He went to get his manager and I was like, please. His manager was like, so I had to explain it to the manager again. He went, just come through. I was like, oh no. So I went through and I was waiting there and he went, you don't need to wait there, you can leave now. Okay, thank you. So I got through. Then ordered an Uber. Went downstairs, ordered the Uber. 
Uber cancelled me. Thank you very much. Couldn't pick me up from that place in Waterloo. So I was like, right, I'll make it a side street. Made it a side street. The Uber is on the other side of the road, drives straight past me. And at Waterloo, there's this massive um, junction where you have to go round and all the way along the bridge and round back again. So then this one's cancelled me. Then the next one said five minutes away. He's then zoomed past me to the point where he has to go all the way around along the South Bank and back again. 11 minutes. 11 minutes. So I was like, might as well cancel him. Five pounds it cost me to cancel him. Five pounds it cost me to cancel him. And I just got in the black cab and I was like, thank you. And I said, do you take payments for cards? And he went, yeah. And I was like, hey, we're going to get there. But I've got here now. I'm here now. But you know, it's one of those days where you're like, is everything against me? Is everything testing me today? Like, are you trying me? Are you trying me? I feel like it's just those days where everything goes wrong. But I'm not, I'm not feeling sad about it, you know? And you're just like, oh, <laughs> I'm hoping, I'm praying my makeup goes right. Because I was on the train thinking, I know that because this has been one of those days, my makeup's not going to sit right. My outfit's going to have mud on it or my dog would have chewed it. I don't know. You know those days. So anyway, I'm going to get start getting ready now. I'm at the hotel. I'll show you around. This is where I'm staying. Cute. Park Plaza and Waterloo. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, okay. So that's beautiful. See? Happy days. Oh, happy days. Hello. That's me. There we are. 91%. Gone then. And that's my suitcase in the middle of everything. Big, big bed. You know about that life. Toilet, we don't need to look at that too much, but here, this is one of my favorite things. Oh no, they don't have it. Oh, eyes awake recovery gel. Sometimes they give me the lip balm and the lip balm from Elemis is very nice. Okay, feeling you, so what? Yes, to the double headed shower. And you know Imogen's about to love her life. Right, so I'm very excited because I'm going to dinner with Beauty Bay tonight. I can't wait to go with them. I'm so excited. I've got some really exciting news coming soon with Beauty Bay, so I can't wait to share that with you. I'm gonna get ready now. I'm gonna start doing my makeup. Don't know what I'm going with because I wanted to wear my big yellow mustard coat. So I kind of wanted to go with a little bit of a mustard ting on my eyes, but I'll figure it out. I love you. Thanks for listening to me, by the way. Sorry about the long vent, but I'm so lucky I get to vent to my angels. Because I'm ready. Oh my God, you do not want to see the state of my bed. Like, you don't want to see the state of this room, but I'm still going to show you because obviously I share everything with you. Look at that. Look at that on the bed. Oh yeah, don't worry about it. But I have got a towel where I've put my makeup. So technically, it's okay. Technically, it's fine, isn't it? Oh, the light's bad there. Where's the light best? Here, maybe? probably. Anyway, so I'm ready for the Beauty Bay dinner now. I'm going to quickly upload my video because it's seven o'clock. I'm going to upload my video. I'm going to get a taxi to the venue. I'm so excited. I'm so excited to eat. I'm so hungry. You know, those days where you feel so stressed, you don't really stop that much. I haven't eaten as much as I normally do, so I am very hungry. I will tell you that. I will be having a starter and main, and I will be having a couple of desserts. <laughs> you know about that. I'll have a dessert there, and then I'll go somewhere and venture out later, because I want a cross town donut. You know me. You know me and my donuts. Okay, so Oh, I've also, I'll show you what I'm wearing, but I feel like this place is such a mess that you're not even going to see it. Okay, so I've got this like bodysuit and these like striped sort of soft trousers tucked into boot heels. And then I'm going to wear it with this coat, sort of like that. Cute. Is that cute? Oh, look, the hotel's all Christmassy as well. It's so cute. Hello. Oh, look, this is the restaurant. This looks so cute. I think it's the restaurant. I think it is anyway. I got out of the taxi so I could walk here because I was getting so hot, so I thought I might as well walk. Oh, look at these flowers, look at these tree flowers, they're so cute. Hey. Ah! Oh, 
wish I could. I've been told I can't, but I ordered two. I ordered two flasks as my next. I'm sorry about the light by the way in here, it's going a bit funny, but I've got it, yay! And also look, I've got something on my lap, I've always got to have something on my lap! This angel is the cleanest princess in the world, she has face wipes in her bag. I live for Nina, I live for Nina. I, live I don't know if you can see me because I think it's too dark, but the event was so nice. I literally just went for a walk for about 20 minutes just to find Starbucks and I'm soaking, I'm actually drenched, I can't wait to get a shower, but I can't wait to see the goodie bag, so we're gonna go back to the hotel now and go through the goodie box, I'm so excited. Oh, let's do that, I need to get my hair dry because I'm gonna get sick otherwise. I was on the phone to my dad, my dad was like, Imogen, stop trying to find a Starbucks, just go home. I was like, okay, I'm going back. He's like, you don't wanna get ill. I was like, I love you, dad. <laughs> I'm probably gonna sit in my coat. I'm actually gonna sit in my coat and do this unboxing. Look, I've got wet hair because I tried to find a Starbucks. Like, what is wrong with me? I've got no lipstick on. Oh, just unclipped it, there we go. The coat's open, we're ready for the we're ready for the unboxing. Let me put a bit of lipstick on here, Hans. So I got my face wet from the rain. I don't know about my makeup, but put a bit of lippy on to do an unboxing won't we but look so I just went to the beauty bay event and the dinner was beautiful I got some starters because I couldn't have any mains because of my stomach but the non-alcoholic cocktails were the dream okay so this is the beauty bay power of influence it was called the power of influence the event so look at all these goodies inside oh my god I can't even deal we're gonna do an unboxing I feel like this is so cute we're doing an unboxing in a vlog like who are we who are we what's that what is that? That's from um, The Wild Child, isn't it? Let me tilt you down here, angels. Oh, I think my battery's gonna die. It is gonna die. Let me charge it and then I'll come back. Oh, I'm rubbish at this whole thing, aren't I? Maybe I could get one thing out and show you. What's this? Storybook Cosmetics. Oh my, God. my brother would go crazy for this. Jacob would love this so much. It's actually like in a film. Oh my God, Wizardry and Witchcraft. Oh my god, that's, I'm sorry, but that's unreal. Like, the packaging of that is unreal, isn't it? How cute, I can't wait to try these colours. Look at those colours in there. Everything's obviously available on Beauty Bay, the hands. Oh my god, this is so cute. Look at this colour. That's a bit of me right there, that's a bit of me. Okay, let me charge this battery, then I'll come back, I love you. Yay, angels, I'm back. I had a shower, I'm in my dressing gown. I feel so clean and fresh. I look a tiny bit different to how I looked a minute ago, but it's fine. I'm relaxed and I've got a little bit of lip balm on my lips. I've got some oil in my hair and we're loving life. So let's continue with the Beauty Bay haul. We've got a little unboxing. I'm still obsessed with this packaging, by the way. I can't deal. Okay, look. Okay, let's go for this one. What's this one? B by B. B by B, Clean Beauty Co. Oh, this is vegan. Detox Dust Purifying Powder Mask. Okay. Boosting Powder Face Mask for Seriously Stressed Skin. After today, we're gonna need this. Rescue your complexion with activated charcoal and kaolin clay to flush out toxins, impurities, and daily grime. Little bit of grime. Every time I hear the word grime, I think of grime music. Vitamin pack, ginseng, lotus, and papaya enzymes. Correct remedy and calm for all skin types in a kit need of kick health. No, in a need of health kick. Let me smell it then, shall I? Oh, it's actually a powder. So how do we do it? Mix a teaspoon with a few drops of water, oil, honey, or yogurt to form a paste. Apply to clean skin. Leave for 10 to 15 minutes before removing with warm water. Whoa, it smells like it will literally detox your skin. That smells good. That smells... It doesn't smell nice. It smells like it will clean your skin. Do you know what I mean? Oh, it smells actually very clayey. Actually, I like it. I really like it. Okay, cute. I can't wait to try that one. Then we've got Artist Couture. Oh, gush, 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 God. I'm so excited. I can't deal. Okay, what have we got from Artist Couture? Okay, we've got these three things. So let's get these out. So what's this one? Okay, wait there. I'm so rubbish, like, I don't know about a lot of new things that are being released, you know what I mean? So I'm so buzzing that Beauty Bear have given us this box, because, wait. Wait, I don't know if you can see that. Please focus on this, not on my face. Can you see that? Can you see that? Of course you can. Oh my good, good, goodness, Lord. Okay, wow. Diamond Glow Powder. So we've got three diamond glow powders, one in, yes! <laughs> okay, Coco Bling's like a goldy color. So that was a rose goldy color. That's a gold color. 
like a light gold colour, silver gold colour. And then we've got Gold Digger, which looks like, oh, incandescent kind of silver and gold. How cute. Okay, we've got this. What's in a name that which we call a rose by any other name would smell as sweet? Storybook Cosmetics. Storybook Cosmetics. I'm obsessed with their packaging. Look. And they've just quoted Shakespeare. And it's beautiful. Storybook, storybook cosmetics, no. Wait, there's another one on the bed I left. Okay, so we've got some Makeup Geek pressed eyeshadows. I'm obsessed with Makeup Geek eyeshadows. I actually need to get another Z palette because I've got a lot of single eyeshadows at home and I really want to put them in a Z palette again. So let's find exactly which ones we've got here. So we've got this one in burlesque, which is like a dark, purpley, red, maroony. Then we've got this one in Galaxy. I've got this in um, actually a foiled loose pigment. And this is from Makeup Geek and I'm obsessed with it. It's like a dark black kind of smoky green charcoal-y but a little bit of glitter in it. Then we've got this one which is called Corrupt. And it's very dark but it's also got a little tiny shimmer in there. Well, that's pretty. Then we've got Hype which is like a light purple with a shimmer in it. And then we've got, oh, that's nice. Oh, that is really nice. Untamed, how gold is that? Oh, actually, I've heard such nice things about Untamed. Let's get Untamed thing. Oh, oh God. I was looking for gold pigments actually the other day and apparently Untamed is, oh. I love Makeup Geek eyeshadows. They are so pigmented. They are really, really good value for money. And look at that. Oh my God, that's one swatch. That's one swatch. Okay, Untamed, I'll be loving you. Okay, next, what have we got next? Okay, so I saw these and I'm like, I'm obsessed. Where are they from then? Am I being really dim and I should know? Oh, I assume these are the storybook cosm- Oh my God, my dad will go crazy for these. My dad will go crazy for these because they're like the Beauty and the Beast, aren't they? Wasn't it Nikki Tutorials that raved about these? Let me feel them. Oh my God, but look. Not only do they feel really soft, right? Look at them. They're like the rose from Beauty and the Beast. I don't think they're meant to be from Beauty and the Beast. I assume they're meant to be to do with this. So. What's her name? Okay. So they've given me a makeup bag to put my roses in and then quoted Shakespeare. What's her name? That which we call the name. That which we call the rose by the other name of Smell of Sweet. There you go. I actually played Lady Macbeth in um, Shakespeare, not that anyone cared, but I thought I'd tell you, you know. I thought I'd tell you I love you. You do care because you're amazing. Okay, what's this one? Okay, LC Cosmetics. Apparently these are meant to be amazing. Nina was telling me she was really excited, but it all sold out. So this is so exciting. Okay, so this one's a bronzer. A soft matte, luxurious bronzer customised to flatter your complexion. The ultra smooth bronzer brings out the right amount of warmth for that natural skin look, okay? So this is me. Oh my God, it's broken. It just went everywhere. Oh, it's just one of those days. It's one of those days, angels. I can't explain it to you. I need to show you. I'm gonna show you. Can we talk about that? 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 Dad, I hope you're happy if you're watching this that this isn't on your floor. Oh, I'm gonna have to clean up. You have to laugh, you have to laugh. I'm really sad because I really wanted to try that. Oh. oh well, there's worse things. It's not really a big deal, is it? It's a broken bronzer, like it's not a big deal. It's just one of those days where you've got to laugh, like things just go wrong. I've actually had a nice day, like I've had a funny day. I got to see my family this morning, like I'm not complaining. Oh my God, that's beautiful. Okay, so what's this one? This is the Minimalist Eyeshadow Palette from Elsie. So look, I'm gonna leave everything I'm showing you below, but look at that orange color over here. Just chilling, yeah. Imogen needs that in her life. Oh, I really like that. It's like the, a, a go-to neutrals palette, but it also has the black in it. It's got a soft, warm brown. It's got these warm orange colors and then a pale color to set your base. And then a big mirror, feeling that one. And then I am so excited to try this. I can't even deal. I'm so excited The Beauty Bay have Laura Lee. Laura Lee, what a gal, what an angel. Like, I'm gonna put all of my body in this bronzer. I'm really sad. <laughs> like that's so funny not really that sad look at her pe packaging laura lee cat's pajamas eyeshadow palette look at her packaging yeah i'm all about it i'm all about it that is like and you know what it like does it it feels so expensive and luxurious because it's got that payoff but it's not on the outside it's got like a clean film over it oh, i love the fact she's got her youtube on the back that's so cool oh my god 
look at these colors i can't even deal what are you saying what is that saying let's just she knows what she's doing doesn't she she knows what she's doing wait oh of course she does look at that laura lee laura lee and they're really soft and creamy okie dokie okay should we try and do it in her accent i can't do like i can do his deep south um okie dokie scatterbrain bomb diggity cry cry redonkulous redonkulous quirky redonkulous i can't do it kooky in one ear at the other eyeball I can't do it, can I? I used to be really good at Deep South. My mama always told me if you love your man right, okie dokie, scatterbrain, bomb diggity, cray cray, redonkulous, quirky kooky, in one ear out the other, oddball. You little oddball. Okay, I did the worst impression ever in my life. I'm not impersonating her, I'm just trying to do a Deep South accent, but I couldn't do it, but I'm obsessed with Deep South accents, so I think they're amazing. Okay, so what an amazing box. What an amazing box. Thanks so much, Beauty Bay. What angels? I can't wait to try all this out. What? I feel so lucky. See, it's been an amazing day. Thanks, Beauty Bay, for making this day amazing. I'm sorry this vlog might have been a bit annoying, like me telling you all my stories and stuff like that, but I hope you've enjoyed it. Please give a massive thumbs up if you like it. Subscribe to my YouTube family of Huns. I'd be so, so grateful. And I've got my giveaway winners, and they are... I've written them down, my little hun buns. See, I can do it. It's all right. My today's winners are Ashley Pike, Keza and Sarah Assem. I can't wait to contact you and tell you that you've got your giveaways. I love you all so much. Thank you so much for entering my giveaways. I love you. Keep entering them. We've got how many days left? I wanna say 11. Am I right? Am I wrong? I don't know. But I'm gonna see you tomorrow for hundreds. I love you, love you, love you, love you, love you more than you know. I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. Also, I'm really seeing my merch again tomorrow. I'm restocking my merch, I'm really nervous. So I'm gonna get some early night now. It's not really early, because it's like 12 o'clock at night. It's actually the next day, so this has been a bit of an all over place vlog, isn't it? Okay, well, I love you all so much. Until next time, I'm gonna love you, and I'm never gonna leave you, but I'm gonna say it anyway, I'm gonna leave you. <laughs>